In this problem, we're shown a block, mass m sub a, on a smooth horizontal surface connected by a thin cord that passes over a pulley to a second block, m sub b, which hangs vertically. A, draw a free body diagram for each block, showing the force of gravity on each, the force, tension, exerted by the cord, and any normal force. And then B, we're told to apply Newton's second law to find formulas for the acceleration of the system and for the tension in the cord. So let's go ahead and do this. So this is going to be the drawing. So here's our drawing. And so what we want to do first is do a free body diagram for each block. So let's do each block. So this is going to be M, M sub A, and then this is going to be MB. So MA and MB. So what do we know about MA? So every single, or both of these blocks are going to have the force of weight, right? Which is just M times G. So we're going to have both of these on each block, right? The force of gravity times our mass, so the weight force. But what do we have on MA? We also have the normal force acting on uh, MA, right? Because it's on something. This one's not, so we don't have it. But this, uh, this building or whatever this is, this surface, is going to be exerting a force upwards. So we know it's going to have some force. Uh, I'm going to call it F sub N. So F sub N. This one's not going to have it because it's just in the air. And then what else do we have? So we also have a tension force on each of them. The tension force for this one, right, it's coming from this direction, so it goes in the opposite direction. So you can just call this T. And then this one, it's from above, right? So it's going upwards is this one. So this is our tension force. This one's going in this direction. It just goes the opposite of wherever the cord is, essentially. So this is going to be our free body diagrams. So these are going to be your answers to A. Let's move on to B, though. So B says to apply Newton's second law to find formulas for the acceleration of the system and for the tension in the cord. So let's go ahead and do that. So B, so what are we trying to do? So we're trying to find formulas for the acceleration. So we got to find uh, something for the acceleration. So how do we want to do this? So what we want to do is see, uh, well, let's start with uh, the first block. So we know that the sum of all the forces for block A is going to be equal to mass times acceleration, right? So what are the forces in the x direction, right? So we're going to be focusing on the x direction because uh, we're solving it for T. So this is for tension. And so the forces in the x direction is only going to be T. So we know T is going to be equal to M. And so M is going to be the mass of our block, which is MA times A. So this right here is going to be uh, tension. So for the tension of the cord, so T equals MA, M sub A times A. But now we got to do the acceleration. So let's do the acceleration next. So what we're going to want to do is solve for T in this one. So we're going to do T solving for this through the same method just for the other block. So this one's going to be in the Y direction, right? Because the tension force in this one was in the X direction. This one's in the Y direction. So it's going to be equal to MA. But what are all the forces? So what forces do we have? We have MG and T. So it's going to be T minus M, the mass of this block, right, MB. So MB times G. So essentially, we're just adding up all the forces, right? The tension force is positive, so it stays positive. This one's going down, so we write it as negative. So minus that force. And we know this is the sum of the forces equals MA, right? And so M is M sub B, and then it's just A. So Keep in mind, though, since it's going down, your acceleration is going to be negative. So really, this is negative A, but I'm just going to make this side A and then make this side negative. So essentially, I'm just multiplying this side by minus 1. So I'm just going to rewrite it like that. I just think it's easier to do it this way. And so now what we're going to do is notice how we solved for T in this equation. What we can do is plug this in for this, and we're going to be able to solve for A. So if we plug this in, right, it's going to be minus M sub A times a, right? This is t. We're just plugging in t. Minus m sub b times g is equal to m sub b times a. And so what we're going to do is solve this. So I'm going to do the minus sign. So I'm just going to expand this, move this minus sign to each of these. So minus m sub a times a. And then it's going to become plus, right? Because minus a minus m sub b times g is equal to m sub b times a and so now we've got it like this what we're going to want to do is move m sub b times or we're just going to rewrite it like this we're going to go m sub b times g is equal to m sub a times a plus m sub b 
times a. So essentially all we did was move this to the other side. And so now we've got it like this. What we're trying to do is solve for a, right? So what we can do is re so we're going to take an m out of each of these. So it's going to be m times g or m of sub b times g equals m or we're taking out the a, my bad. So we're taking out this a. So it's going to be a, right? If we take out an a from this, it's just going to be m sub a plus, and then this is going to be m sub b, right? Notice how if we take out an a, this is a times m sub a, and then this will be a times m sub b, which is what we have right here. And so now if we're just solving for a, we can just divide both sides by this. So m sub a plus m sub b. So m sub a plus m sub b. And so now a is just going to be equal to, I'll write it up here. So a equals m sub b times g over m sub a plus m sub b. So this right here is going to be your answer. So this is going to be the acceleration or the formula for the acceleration of this system. And so you're going to use this in the next problem. But yeah, so acceleration is going to be m sub b times g over m sub a plus m sub b. So yeah, hopefully you found this useful.